My name's Tom, and I'm leaving the grind behind and hitting the road in search of adventure in my custom tiny studio on wheels. Welcome to Casa Nowhere. Don't forget to subscribe. You wouldn't want to miss anything. Well, hello, Internet. I am back with an action-packed video this week. Desert life is wild, and I am all up in it. I've been all over the place, meeting new people, seeing new and exciting things. So I'm going to keep this intro short, and we'll pick up where we left off last time in Quartzsite, Arizona. All right, well, day two in Quartzsite has been pretty awesome as well. We went to Tyson Wells to the tents there. This is basically a flea market that runs most of the winter season in Quartzsite. It is right next to where they hold the Big Tent RV show, and there's tons of vendors there selling everything from RV accessories to southwestern clothing to rocks. You'd be surprised how popular selling rocks is in the town named after a rock. It had this cool vintage dirt bike, e-bikes. This year's hottest RV accessory. Lots of knives, brass knuckles, katanas, freaking mini crossbows. In most states, they're not legal. They've got a belt handmade by this nice gentleman. I picked up a few things. This level for the trailer tong. I got these mats, hoping they would keep some dust out of the trailer. Although the verdict is still out on that idea. I got some recovery gear for the truck. Do you know, would these be heavy duty enough for pulling out a... Uh... Yes, those are heavy duty for anything. Okay. Well, take my money. That evening we went over to the RTR, or Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, for a screening of the Academy Award winning movie Nomadland. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Bob Wells, the guy who started the RTR, as well as the Cheap RV Living YouTube channel, the Pied Piper of van life, co-stars as himself in the movie. So it was getting pretty meta. In the movie, they go to the RTR. So there were scenes where you were seeing mountains on the screen, and then those same mountains behind the screen. A dream within a dream. Inception in the desert. The next morning, we were back at the RTR, and we got to hear Bob talk about the experience of working on the movie. And the, and the story became the life, and it became the culture. And so that's why we adore storytellers so much. And these were master storytellers. It was incredible to watch these stories. And then I got to meet the man. This clip from Brian, Adventure Van Man, it pretty much sums up what I was feeling. I had this whole new path to pursue. It was very, very exciting. And Bob's website, um, I don't know if I would be where I'm at right now without it. So I'm very gracious to him and what his passion has turned into. Brian has also been an inspiration and I got to meet him too. Hey. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Your diesel heater install video is one of the best, I think. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's, you know, they work if you just, yeah. you know. One more picture. One more. It's totally opposite. Remind me of my dog. Got to nerd out a little bit in between selfies, and I found out he was having a little camping get together in a few weeks. Are you still having your meetup? It's going to be the first weekend of February. If you are a big follower of Nomad YouTube channels, you probably saw Diane Schmayand behind Brian there. I also got to meet her. She is killing it on her channel, and I got to nerd out with her just a little bit. I'm also going to put the YouTube handles for everyone I meet in this video in the video description. If you haven't seen their videos, go check them out. After that, I dropped off my old removable towing mirrors for the free pile. I really had a great time at the RTR, even though I only got to catch the very end of it. Hopefully next year, I can make it to town just a little bit quicker and see a little bit more. We spent a few more days in Quartzsite while I wrapped up a video. However, I did take a little time off to go to the Lit Cactus, 
which is a pin I saw right within the La Posa South LTVA. The description gives a Facebook group you can go to to find out what events they have going on. They have jam session campfires every Friday and then some more special events on holidays. This was definitely a good time and I got some good boondocking information. But with the video done, I was getting itchy feet, so I packed up the trailer and decided to go to Schoolie Palooza. And we are on the way there. It's kind of late in the day, but worked this morning. Uh, went and met the Campulance man. And of course, Lefty. I forgot to get a selfie, but I did get to nerd out. DC to DC converter stepping it down from 24 to 12 of 140 watts of panels yeah. which is right on the verge and then we were off for schooly palooza schooly palooza is officially an ungathering non-event i guess there's a lot of legal documents and stuff you need in order to throw an event on public land so this is more like Here's a pin in the desert. You can come camp if you want, but you're on your own. Pack it in, pack it out, leave no trace. Pretty wild. Boat parties in the desert during the day. But it really starts popping after dark. People dancing on buses. all sorts of crazy lit up rigs go go dancers the bread trucker was there with his honda swapped volkswagen dune buggy i wouldn't say we nerded out but i did get to talk to him for a little bit but even with so much going on and so many people around it really was a beautiful spot to camp Unfortunately, my tanks were getting full, so I had to get moving. All right, so I think that is the end of Scully Palooza for us. Today is the last day. Some people will still stay. It is public land, but I am going to hit the road. I think I'm gonna to go to the Midlands LTVA in California, hang out there a couple days, finish a video, and then head back to Quartzsite. This is probably apparent, but I am just having the best time out here in the desert. It really is a beautiful, wild, and free place, and I am meeting so many interesting characters. It's very striking how diverse the assortment of desert enthusiasts is. You have everything from people camping in tents and cars to people with million dollar rigs and UTVs, everything from hippies partying in the desert to, to side-by-sides tooling around with let's go Brandon flags, all enjoying being left the F alone. <laughs> it really feels like anything is possible out here, but I am going to wrap up this video so I can have some more fun. I have filmed some stunningly beautiful things that I can't wait to share. Thank you for watching and have a good one. <laughs>